video, I will show you how you can use the virtual screening uh, workflow to find compounds against your target. So the first thing we have to do, of course, is to make sure that we have the compounds available. We can download them from the GitHub, the UMC uh, under the GitHub um, page. And we also have to prepare, first of all, a working directory in which we're going to put everything. So I will make, I will create a folder by clicking on the desktop, right click on the desktop and then select the folder name. In this case, I will call it just project as such. And we can go into that folder and we will see this folder is of course empty. Now to get compounds, to put compounds in this folder, we have to open a terminal. It is by clicking on the left top side, the terminal. And I will enlarge this terminal a little bit. And then we can um, type the following commands. WGET, WGET, HTTPS, and then the GitHub page, which is in this case github.com, then slash the repository, or at least the location, UAMC Antwerpen. The repository is 2040 FBD big. Then we should type row, um, row from the master branch project materials slash 2023, 2024. And then lich prep underscore enamina underscore discovery underscore diversity underscore sets dot m a e g z and that's it so it's downloading it let's see where it is okay so we are, we are not in the folder so we will have to move this file into the folder on the desktop so we will type mv from move then lichprep the name of the file and then tilt like this slash desktop slash project which is the folder that we just created and then it's created it's moved to that folder we can see we can move to this folder copy and then paste again here like this ls shows us what's inside and you see there is the name of this file you can also click on the folder itself and you will see the name of the file itself okay so that's it we have downloaded the compounds that we will use in the screening 10,000 compounds from the enamine that's diversity set um, spiked with uh, thrombin inhibitors now it's time to start with the maestro we click on the maestro the maestro will be opening so it's version 2023 slash three. So it's a recent version. Um, uh, and the first thing we do, of course, is make sure that we can use this project folder to put everything in. So we will change the working directory, first of all. Go to desktop, then projects, and we select this one as being the default folder in which we can write everything. So everything is written in this folder. Get the compounds or the uh, the protein at least get pdb n1 mu6 is the name that i'm going to use um, like this okay so that has been imported we can now prepare this protein um, let's have a look at it first of all we will delete all the water molecules so we select them as follows and delete from entry. Okay, then we know that you can also delete chain A and chain C as follows, just to make everything a little bit faster. We uncheck this minimization button. Um, and then I think we can, um, that this is important that optimize hydrogen bond assignments. That's important because then the hydrogens are added to the protein that is used to this. This is uh, required for the docking itself. So we can now type run 
we have to wait a little bit, I guess, once the job has been submitted, job has been started, so we can close this window and we can follow the progress of this job by clicking the jobs button. Normally, when it's finished, we will it will be incorporated in the workspace and we can work further from there. Let's, it's already finished, so we can close this here. This is the one. We select this one. Just have a look at the ligands. So by clicking this button, so this is the ligands highlighting green. And now we will prepare a, a grid file. So tasks, receptor grid generation. Um, we have to define where we have to, um, we want uh, the grid to be generated. So we have to select the compound which is bound in the active site. Select this one. So what Maestro will do, it will delete these compounds, of course, uh, and then generate a grid. So everything we will use is the standard things, no columns. We name, we rename the, 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 the job to glide grids and just click run in this case. Submitting a job again. We can close this window once again, and we can have a look at the progress again using this jobs button. And monitor, so select this one, then monitor. Then you get a job window. Let's see how it's going. It will not take that long normally. And it's now finished. It has been completed, like it mentioned here. So this file has been created. And we can have a look at this by looking at the project folder. You see, this is the glide grid. And this is the file that we will have to specify in a moment. So you see that also the protein preparation folder has been created. This is a downloaded file that we used, and these are the compounds that we're going to dock. So we have now a grid. We have the compounds to be docked, and now we can start in the virtual screening workflow. Select tasks, virtual screening workflow, and we can specify, we have to specify a number of things. First of all, we have to select the files. We're going to use this Lichtprep Enamine Discovery Diversity Set. This is a set of compounds which has already been prepared by Lichtprep, so we don't have to specify Lichtprep anymore in the docking again here. Um, let's see, filtering, that's okay. The preparation, we don't have to prepare the ligand, so we can click this button off to save us some time. We have to specify, of course, our receptor. Select from the file, and we specified this one. This open. Okay, that's fine. And then we have to specify, we can, of course, um, change here the number of compounds that we would keep um, after the first high throughput screening docking, also the signal precision, 10% is kept. Um, and then at the end, the extended precision, that's this. Okay, so, but everything is, all fine, is fine. We will, now that's important, we will change this one to VSW and then click on this button. Um, and select write. So not run, just write everything down. So the whole input file is now written down. Let's have a look because we have to, we can close this button here and we can open a terminal, which is already here. Let's have a look, ls. And you see that the VSW folder has been created, this one. So we will change into that directory as follows, and you will see the input file of the virtual screening workflow and also an executable file that will be run. Uh, but you have to, first of all, modify this file in a, in a minute because we can we will use more processors than uh, in standard by default. So click open the project folder, go to the 
VSW folder. And then right, right click on the VSW um, .sh, open with a text editor. And then we have to modify this by adding a colon and then eight. So it's all jobs. The job will be submitted on the CPU colon eight Q and remove this one here. So make sure that there are the sp spaces in between. Save it again so that the asterisk now is disappearing. We can close it. We can also close this one. And then we can go to this terminal again, type in dot then slash vsw.shell and enter. And now everything will be submitted to the computer. We can look at the progress of this uh, job. So by typing SQ minus or space and then minus L, and that give you, gives you the jobs that are currently running on the computer. What you see here is this first line, we are user 678. In your case, this will be a different name. So we have two lines here. First of all, the session line, which is in fact the current session, session in which we are using the, the virtual workstation, eh? so the Maestro, that's the session on, on itself. And then also here the configuration, that you say, this is in fact the start of our calculations. If you type in SQ again, then it will be remain the same. But after a certain moment, you will see that the program will have more jobs running and the docking will, um, will, will start. Again, SQ minus L. It is important that you leave it like it is, so you don't, you cannot log out of the virtual workstation because then everything will be stopped. So the jobs will, will be canceled. This will take some time, I guess an hour or so, we will see. Uh, and then at the end, we will, the, the, uh, the docking will generate a list of compounds that we can load again into our Maestro session. So we will wait a little bit, have a look on the progress. And then when it's finished, when you see SQ space minus L and nothing is shown there, only the session, it means that everything has been finished. Look at it. If you type in SQ space minus L again, then you will see indeed that a number of jobs have or have appeared meaning that, and you see here the name, meaning that the docking stage has started. So we're now docking the compounds, first of all, using that high throughput uh, docking method. So the less accurate, but faster method, then 10% of the top compounds will be fed into a second docking program, namely the standard precision. And then also from there, the top 10% will be fed into the extended precision. So, okay, you see, it's already, the docking is already busy for two minutes approximately. Um, it will also take a time and we will come back when it's finished. Three to four hours, the docking is finished and you should see if you type in LS in your directory where the virtual screening workflow was executed, you can see a number of files. And one of those files which contain the compounds is this M-A-E-G-Z file, the output file. Um, so we can load that into Maestro. So we go to the Maestro and we load those compounds. Uh, we do that as follows, import structures. And we can go to the directory where those structures are located and we load them in. And this contains all the results. And you see immediately that, we can close this one here. We can see that um, the compounds are sorted from high to low scoring. And we have here a number of known uh, compounds. So if you look, if you look this one, and we go over the different ones, then we can see that if you zoom on the ligand, um, then we can see that the compound is indeed located here in this active site um, as follows. So indeed, there are some active compounds scoring 
better or almost the same as the reference of spike compounds. And this is a good starting point to buy them. So this finishes the workflow as an example. You need some, ex you need some patience, but uh, at the end you get results. Okay, I hope this can help you in your own workflow.